All right, we're going to factor this expression. Um, I'm going to do this the, the longer way first. Um, so, but I'm going to do it the, the other way second. All right, so if, if you did it by factoring out a 5 first, just hold your horses, all right, please? So on this one, because, and by the way, it's not important that you know that 5 can be factored out from this. This one's pretty obvious to some of you, but it's not obvious to everyone, all right? So the same method still works, though, where if we identify A as 5 and C as 70, when we multiply those two, we get uh, 350. So when we factor this out, I'm going to skip all the factoring, but 35 and 10 seems to work. Because if I add those two together, I get 45. I just need it to be a negative 45, so I'll make both of them negative. Now when I add these two together, I get negative 45, which is also the B value. So that tells me what I'm going to split that negative 45x up into. I'll start with my 5x squared. And then I've got uh, negative 35x minus a 10x plus the 70. And now factoring by grouping, I can factor out a 5x from these two terms. So 5x, then I've got an x minus 7. And then I'm going to add this to, uh, on this one I'm going to factor out uh, negative 10, which gives me x minus 7. That's a minus. All right, from these two terms now, I can factor out an x minus 7. So I got x minus 7. And then in the other set of parentheses, I've got 5x minus 10. Because plus negative 10, all right? Now we can continue this, though, because in this second set of parentheses, 5x minus 10, we can factor out a 5. So I still have the x minus 7 here. But I can factor out a 5. And then what do I have left? I've got x minus 2. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm even okay if you leave it like this. Most people would prefer to see it like this. But yes, this would be the fully factored answer. All right, so what were we talking about at the beginning here, right, is a lot of you saw that, not everyone though, and again, it's okay, but some of you saw that we can factor out a 5 from each of these terms, which left us with x squared minus 9x plus 14. 70 divided by 5 is 14. Um, well, this one just goes back to the expressions we were starting with, right, where you just have the x and the x. Because the coefficient of that x squared is now 1 inside the parentheses. So we're just looking at factors of 14 that are going to add up to 9, like 7 and 2. But since this c is a negative 9, we'll just make them negatives. So we got a negative 7 and a negative 2.